All right, hello guys, and welcome back. Um, good news on the last uh, episode, we were trying to find that ditto, and off af right after we finished it turning the camera right off, after. yeah, we managed to find one, and we did manage to capture him. So let's take a look at him real quick. Get closer. Like that, like that. Uh, let's see. Withdraw. There's our ditto, so we can use that later. Um, for making more EVs once we actually get an EV. So that'll be a later thing. For now though, we actually have the ability to do the bug catch competition today, so that's what we're gonna go do. And I'm excited to do that. We need to pick the Pokemon that's gonna be our main. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, Noctil's like, what the heck? And hit me. Alright, so I'm probably going to use Noctowl as my main because it's going to be bug type and it'll be strong against bug type. And he has hypnosis. <laughs> We've already battled all these people, so we can go straight there. Here we go. Today's Tuesday. That means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Yes. Uh oh, you have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Noctowl, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay? Yeah. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete. Here are the park balls for the contest. The person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of park, ball park balls, you're done. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest but po bug Pokemon you can find. This is what, like my favorite thing they added to this game. I don't think they've ever done anything like this since. Like, you get the special type of ball. You get the Safari, the safari Zone. They give you a special type of Well, they have Safari Zone here, too. But it's just like they did this bug catching competition thing, which is pretty yeah. sweet. I've always thought this was like the coolest thing that they added. Because this, this is the only time you can find specialty bug Pokemon. Like, you can find certain ones. Yeah. Which kind do you think I'm going to try and catch? An area dose? If we get lucky enough to find one of those, that'd be kind of cool. But uh, they're still pretty rare to find, like the bigger special ones, but... Oh, Beedrill. Beedrill could be good. That's nasty. Why would you pack it? Because they're strong. But not Hypnosis. I didn't even use Hypnosis. Um... Is, that, is he laying on the mic again? Get him out of there. Go, Kale! Can't lay on the mic, dude. Cut. Alright. Uses sharp poisonous stings to defeat prey, then takes the victim back to its nest for food. That's horrifying. So, like, what if he finds, like, a Taurus? A Taurus? Thing? He's gonna eat him. They, like, just sting it a bunch, and then they carry it back to their nest? Just like a real wasp. Yep. That's what a wasp would do to us if they were big enough. This is a good way to uh, get some levels in for Noctowl, also. Oh, I'm looking for two specific Pokemon. That are bugs? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I never use bug type. Is there a sight there in there? Could be. Is that one of them? Could be. Can you get a, a scissor naturally in the game? Uh, I think you need to trade him, don't you? Is that... Well, I mean, I know you have to trade him to, like, just get one, but, like, I mean, in this... You can get him in this game, but you can't capture one, though. I think you have to trade it over using a steel claw or a steel... Coat. Steel coat, yeah. The same way to get Steelix. I've had a Steelix and a... Caesar or Scizor in this. I'm gonna capture this as well because he survived. Just so I can add him to the Pokedex. The small bugs it eats appear only at night, so it sleeps in a hole in a tree until night falls. Apparently not. You already caught Beedrill though. Switch Pokemon? No. So why would you catch him? Add to the Pokedex. I'm level 14. Uh, mine was level 15, I think. <coughs> oh, Pretty sure. We'll see. Oh, I can't see him. 
Try at level 15 you drill. Man, the bee drills are coming fast and furious. Train capture no. him. He's not gonna be as strong as the bee drill, I think. Bam. I do want to capture a butterfree just so I, I can add it to my Pokedex. There is one of the ones I wanted. Look at that bad. I don't know if Heracross is in here. It's only a level 14 though. That's disgusting. You don't like the way you look? Pincers? Mm -hmm. look at, no, so I crazy. don't like pincers. <clears throat> I said that. Mm. Let me get him down weaker. He's sleeping good. It's like you woke up where you woke up from his slumber because you smacked him. Look his little mouth. Yeah, it's creepy. It's sideways. And it goes no, 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 no. That's the problem with these guys. They have such a freaking ridiculous catch rate. Come on, come on. You're asleep and you're hurt. Catch, yes. Now the question is do we keep him or do we keep the beedrill? When the temperature drops at night, it sleeps on treetops or among roots where it is well hidden. You already caught a beedrill. I'm gonna switch it out because I think my pincer is better. And there is Scyther if we can catch, if we can find one. <clears throat> what should be the next one? Perhaps um, they're using the taller grass. You haven't even gone to the tall grass. This is the tall grass. All of it's tall grass. Mm -hmm. Look at all the XP you can get for killing the See, this is like regular grass. Oh. <coughs> I know over here you don't really find like anything besides the lure and stuff. And then the big tall grass over here. So look at that, it looks like money on the ground all over the place. Yeah, there's old. Needle. Tell's getting them heavy levels. I think I got like two levels already in just in this. Cocoon. We already got a pincer, so I feel pretty good about that. I'm willing to try for a few more minutes to try and find out a scyther. If we can't, then we just turn it in with the pincer. Another one is it stronger? It is not. Four hundred XP for it. I usually always find a scyther. I very rarely find a pincer actually. Oh, you. 
Come out of here. Let's see if I can heal. Nope. Can't heal, I forgot. So once your Pokemon faints, you're done. We've played this for seven hours already? Is that the thing? Um... Wait. Under egg. Playtime, seven hours, three minutes? Yep. That's pretty crazy. Doesn't feel like it. We are, I think we do have like eight episodes or something like that. I haven't actually like edited them together and put them up, but, but when I do, you guys will know. Oh, it's a boy. Might have a little bit more health. Might not. I'm just gonna murder. Murder! They should have made a little pincer pre evolution. Maybe they will. Make him like a penny. Is it what? Little pen. Because bug Pokemon need pre evolutions. I think the fact that they have a pincer that has nothing, no evolution at all, and a scyther that only has two. Missed opportunity. No, now it has three. It has a third evolution now? Well, I mean, it's like a different variant. It's the Cleavor. Hmm, I'm talking about, it probably needs a pre evil form. Like a little mini scyther. It's a grasshopper. Grasshopper still has pre evil forms. They got larvae. Oh my god, we're not getting lucky at all. No PP. I think it's time to turn it in. We're almost dead and we're almost out of moves. And I don't, even if I found a scyther, I don't have the moves to fight him. Damn. <clears throat> that was just a normal tackle. I think I'm gonna call it after I wait for a few more. How are you gonna level up Togepi? We're gonna have to battle and we'll switch them out, just like we did with Paris. Paris and uh, Knockdown. Come on, Scyther, I'm counting on you. Last chance. Oh, there's a butterfly though. We should try and catch that. Oh. Come on, Noctel. Oh! It doesn't affect Butterfree. Go Park Ball's early chance. <laughs> No, park ball, go! Come on. Go! He's about to murder my Noctel. One last, last chance. chance. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I thought it was. It always does that. We're done, Ski. We whited out instead of blacked out. Yeah, on that one, this one whites out for some reason. We will now judge a Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for those? Placing third was Bug Catcher Benny, who caught a Butterfree. The score was 324 points. Placing second, Camper Barry, who caught a Venonat. The score, 329 points. This Bug Catching Contest winner is... Ash, who caught a Pinsir! Uh, uh, the winner was... Uh, the winning score was 354 points. Ash, the number one finisher, wins Sunstone. <coughs> Please join us for the next contest. We'll return the Pokemon we'll kept for you. Here you go. Give a nickname to the pincer. No. Your partner's full, so your Pokemon was sent to your PC. Now we can get a Blossom if we want a Grass type. We did it, my babe. Caught the pincer and we won the bug catching competition. What, what are we at on time-wise? 15 minutes. We could probably we could probably end it here. That way we have a short episode that just shows the bug com competition. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. We went in, we tried to find a site there. It didn't really work out so well for us, but maybe on the next one because there's there's a bug catching contest Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays I think. So we might be able to do another one on Thursday. But for now, we're gonna end it here, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Let me save it so I don't forget.
Nice. All right, see you guys later.